If tomorrow never comes, what an interesting thought. Will success in this world matter? Are the things that you bought? When God calls your name and says your soul is required thee, will you beg for more time or will you leave hastily? If tomorrow never comes and you're no longer around, will your absence go unnoticed or affect many as deep and profound? What might the world say of you when you're no longer here? When your loved ones are mourning, will your enemies cheer? Did you lie, cheat, steal, or kill to get what you wanted? Were you consumed with the pursuit of trivial things, wasting the precious time on it? Were you thankful and gracious, greeting selfish or crass? Or did you live every day as if it were your last? Did you love? No. I mean really love. Or were you angry and full of hate? What would you do different if this was your fate? If tomorrow never comes, would the world still revolve? And things that you find important that moment, will they even matter at all? Oh, and just because tomorrow never comes, doesn't mean it's the end, because next comes eternity, with which you must contend. Where decisions you made when alive and well would determine your state, whether heaven or hell. Did you live your life in rebellion against the I am? Or did you accept a free gift that is the blood of the Lamb? Salvation costs you nothing, though he gave you everything. You can bet your life, no, your soul on it, that he has the power to redeem every being, every atom he created because every atom he created, Colossians 1.17. Because he is before all things, and by him all things consist, why would you deny him? Why would you resist? He is the reason that all things exist. Stay with me, I know you can see it. It can't be that hard, because only a fool in his heart says that there is no God. So many are lukewarm because their mind is stuck watching mindless videos on TikTok, unaware that their time is up. He died and rose on the third day for you, who I'm trying to inspire. It is all written in the book, and I came to kindle your fire. Did you know that God's desire is that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth? Well, now that you know the plan, what exactly do you plan to do? See, it's easy to talk about, but harder to live it. Like it is easy to offend, but harder to forgive it. Harder to hit the mark, but easier to miss it. Easier to hold a grudge, but it's harder to forget it. These are just some of my thoughts and muses I wanted to share. We are living in perilous times and it is imperative we remember to hold each other up in prayer and peace and ponder these thoughts because when it's all said and done in some point in time for each one of us tomorrow will never come. Amen.